Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another video. This morning, um, this is going to be my last video for quite a while. I'm in the middle of a huge move, as most of you know, 25 years in the same place. Um, it's, it's a lot. It's been a lot to deal with, a lot of stress. So I said, I'm going to sit down. This is it. This is the one for me because you know I hoard um, Swarovskis. So it's all Swarovski. That's what I wanted to focus on. The only thing I'm not pleased with is the color choices that I chose for this bracelet. You can't see the detail. It got lost in here. I wanted to highlight these bicones and they got lost with the colors I chose. Then I punched in that color of turquoise and I said, what are you even thinking? I kept going with it for some reason and it's still really pretty, but not what I had in my head. You can't fully see the detail. So I'm calling it the winding road because we're gonna take some twists and turns in here just like in real life. Um, sometimes we stumble and there's forks in the road. We just have to remember that we have to choose wisely which road to take. And so that's why I decided to name it that. So I hope you enjoy. S sit back, relax. This is a nice, relaxing project. That's what I needed today. And we're going to go from there. So right into the material list. Some 11s, 15s. You'll need some 8 millimeter rounds. These are Swarovski pearls. I'm using a vintage button. You can use whatever you'd like. You're going to need one stop bead, any bead will work, some size eights, some six millimeter Swarovski bicones, and then some three millimeter Swarovski bicones. And you won't need that many, so I'm going to move those out of the way just so they're not in our way when we go to begin. And yes, there are some colors in there that aren't supposed to be, but um, when I was cleaning, I said this is... This is the direction I need to go because, <laughs> to be honest, I really hold on to Swarovskis for so long that it's ridiculous. It's time to let them go and make, I'm making myself something beautiful today. So on three yards of fire line or whatever stringing material you like, size 11 beading needle, we're going to begin by picking up a size 8 seed bead and then a round, an eight millimeter round, another size eight, a bicone, and an eight. And we're gonna repeat this going back and forth. I'm gonna slide it down just a little bit. I'm not dropping it all the way down yet. Go down just a little bit for the moment. And we'll continue alternating. So right back to a round, an eight, and then a bicone just like this yeah it's it's amazing um how much stuff you accumulate over the years and how much <sighs> it's a lot of work especially um you know I'm going through several different things in my life in my health and all of that I have decided to do one more round of treatment with the oncologist um, just temporarily to get me through until I can see a proper pulmonary doctor, which isn't until the very end of November. So I just need to stay safe and healthy until, until then. But um, yeah, it is a lot of work. All right, guys, so we're at the end. You do this until you've reached your desired length. I'm going to check my pattern because you know I talk a lot. Make sure everything looks good. That's perfect. Keep in mind you want to leave about half an inch on each end for your clasp. And now we're ready to slide the pattern down. Leaving about a 10 to 12 inch long tail. And what I'm going to do is attach a needle right now to that tail. And I'm going to leave the needle attached just so it's ready when we are because everything's going to be loose at first and that's perfectly fine. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. Pick up our stop bead just like this and 
then I'm just gonna slide it down, leaving a 10 to 12 inch tail, and go right back through that stop bead. And just put that needle to the side, slide the pattern down so you have something that looks just like this. And now I have to pull off. There's nothing small, nothing major that you won't be able to see right now. And I'm gonna make some room. We're ready to attach our button, so that way it'll be all set. And I'm gonna make a little bit of room for myself here. So we're gonna pick up two 11s, one three millimeter bicone, and then I'm gonna do four 11s because this is a very, very old button. It took me forever to get all the strings out from inside of here, but it's wider. Um, then this one, see how this has a shank that sticks up. So I only used three elevens and then the shank and three. For this one, I'm using four, the button, then four more elevens and I'll slide it down. Just like this, we're just going to skip all those beads, the 11s, the button, and the 11s there. And we're going to run right back down that three millimeter bicone, the two 11s, and poke out that one size eight right before that round. And then we'll pull down. Just like that. All right. And I'm going to actually pull a little bit harder. All right, so now I'm gonna pick up the work just so I can show you, make sure everything's nice and straight in there. Make sure it's gonna lie nicely for me, perfect. If it loosens, pull on that tail. We'll be done with that in a minute. We're gonna bury that as soon as we run down. So now we're gonna use our 15s and carefully count them out. We need 10, so we're going to pick up 10. All right, I'm going to double check myself because my eyes are shot. Ah, uh, goodness. All right, so 10 15s, jump over that round right into that size 8. And yes, don't panic. Like I said, if it gets loose, it's okay. Just relax. Everything will be fine. We just wanted hugging it that way. And now we're going to pick up two 11s, a little three millimeter bicone, and two more 11s. We're going to jump that bicone and go into this eight and pull. And we'll continue. We'll just repeat that. So 10 15s, jump over the round and go into that eight, pull. And then two 11s, a three millimeter bicone, two more. Jump over that and into that eight. And if it starts to get too, too loose, just pull on that stop bead. But mine's doing okay. And it's going to flip and it's going to flop. And that's why I called it what I called it. Because it's going to be winding and twisty and really beautiful. On When I put that one on yesterday, I fell in love. Not so much with the colorway, but I uh, absolutely loved the look of it. And I don't, I'm not bashing the colorway. I just wanted to highlight the Swarovskis a little bit more than I did rather than um, hide them. Oops, right back to two 11s, I'm talking away. And <laughs> that's funny, I should have I should have named the channel Talking Away because I do do a lot of talking. It's funny when things get too crazy in my life, too stressful, this is where I need to be. Um, right here, beating, because it calms me down, relaxes me, and I forget about everything, even if it's just for an hour. I forget everything. Everything disappears because I have had people coming and going and coming and going in and out, and, and finally the right people walked in, and I knew immediately that that was the family. 
and they were the ones. Um, they respected all the little details and um, it's a beautiful home. It's a little bungalow built in the 20s. It needs some love on the outside, but it's gorgeous inside. I have enjoyed my time here, but like I said, it's time for me to go on a different path, a different journey in this life. You have to try and do your best and make every day count. Even though, like I said, going through stuff is, is not the funnest. Old little, you know, um, photo albums and stuff like that. A little sad at the same time. It's neat that I did save a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of treasures from when my daughter was in kindergarten. Um, I mean, just so many neat things. Um, and they're all hers. They're all her treasures now. I passed them along because I'm moving into a very, very small space. I won't even be able to bring this bead station, which I have used for, I don't even know, 14 years now. But I'm passing it along to a fellow beater. She's absolutely incredibly talented and one of my very best friends um we met at a bead class um that i was when i first started beading i went to an ornament making you know you make those ornament covers i went to one of those classes at a craft store and that's where we met and there was nowhere for me to sit <laughs> it was so crowded and i was late she was the only one who stood up and moved her stuff over to the side and made room for me to squish in there. And from that day on, uh, we've always been great friends. She's a, an amazing woman and a very talented beater. Very. All right, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, I have to be careful. Because that part's important when we do our decorative work. This part's just the tedious part. And it's a little loose there, a little gappy. So I'm going to pull down. Um, we're almost to the end. Keep going with your beautiful pattern. Yes, yeah, so I'm very proud to hand this over to somebody who's going to love it and enjoy it. Because it's huge. It's six feet long. It's... 400 pounds it's custom built um by my husband um very large and i'm moving into a very very tiny place so uh, five six seven eight ten but they do allow cats so I do get to bring all my fur babies with me. So that makes me happy. They all get to come with me because I was very stressed out about uh, trying to find a place that accepted three cats. Yes, you have to pay a little extra, but it's so worth it. All right, guys, we're done. Set the working thread aside. We're going to just, sorry, I told you to leave that needle attached. I My apologies. We're going to slide the needle off and then pop that stop bead off. Okay. So sorry. Attach that needle back on. And yes, I went back to my old fire line, which is why my hands were already getting nice and dirty. Um, I was using something called black satin. But I realized it frayed a lot for me. I mean, a lot of you may like it, whatever. It's your choice. But I had to go back to my old, <laughs> this regular fire line. Because it's, for me, it works the best. And I'm comfortable with it. It's what I've used forever. All right. So we're on to the tail right now. So we're going to go ahead and make a loop to fit your button or whatever clasp you're using. So I'm going to, again, pick up that same amount, just 
two 11s, a three millimeter round, uh, bicone, excuse me, and then enough beads to encircle our button. And I have to make sure it's an even number. Twenty-four, just because I'm gonna do peyote around it. So I'm gonna try twenty-four, and just to test it, I'm gonna skip all twenty-four and just go right through that bicone only. Pull down, and I'm gonna hold on real tight. I'm gonna wrap it around my finger and hold on, and see how that feels. I need it a little loose, so I am gonna add two more because when we do the peyote decoration like I did here, it tightens it down. So I wanna make sure, oh my goodness. Yeah, I wanna make sure that I leave a comfortable space so that way I can just slip it on and off, no issues. And I just made a horrible mess, oh my gosh. That's what I get for trying to cheat and not pop the needle off. see what's happening here oh I didn't lose any beads that's good so 28 and I will put the measurement of this button I'm using so that way if you want to use it you absolutely can all right so now I have 28 on I'll make sure I note button size so 28 for that skip all 28 and go right back down through the bicone the two 11s right past that working thread let me get a little closer just skip it and go into the work all the way down through the round the bicone the eight and then we're going to hold for just a second everything's going to be loose like I said I just don't want to get these threads all mixed up so here's my working thread I'm going to set that to the side all right and here's our tail pull down we have our loop on pull nice and tight and now I'm going to pick up the piece and I'm going to find a place to put in a couple of knots, which is going to be right here. So I'm going through that next round and I'm going to poke out that eight, that size eight. And in between that space, I'm going to pick up that thread space before I pull that loop. Make sure it goes right between that 11 and that eight and pull down. I'm going to do that twice. One more time. And I am going to go a couple more down and do it right before that round. And put two more knots right in there. So I'm stepping out of an eight. Just going to pick up that thread space before I pull that loop. Put my needle in, pull down, and I'll do that again. And we're done. We're just going to drag that needle. I mean, not, <laughs> excuse me, right through that round pop the needle off and burn as close as possible. And I dropped my thread burner yesterday and it's all bent and broken. So still works. It's just all, <laughs> all messed up. All right, backing off because we need to see here. So our thread is exiting this way out of that size eight. We're going to follow that path, continue up through the 11s and one bicone and one more 11 and here's where we're going to start a quick peyote if you're not familiar with this i have a video called clasp decorating i will add the link at the end of video and i just um at the end of the video excuse me i just made a note so i don't forget so we just pick up 11, one 11, skip one, go into the next. We'll do this all the way around. I love decorating it like this. You can add um, fringe off of this. You can hang a charm. This keeps the work so tight. 
and stable and makes it look just a little extra special, I think, a little more detailed. You can continue on and add bi cones in there um, in between these size eights as well, so you can keep going. That's what I love about um, doing this technique. So just regular peyote using very high tension now. And then we're gonna work our way back down. So don't worry if things are a little loose in the actual bracelet. You just don't want any gaps. So make sure there's no gaps. That's all you have to be aware of. Other than that, just keep going. I was gonna skip this part and just, you know, go around the loop, but I figured why not? I have time this morning. I don't have anybody coming until later today, which is good. It's incredibly hard, believe it or not, when you're showing your house, especially during car, uh, COVID because only a couple people are allowed in at a time. But you have to keep everything extra clean. I'm a neat freak to begin with, but extra, extra clean um, for me anyway. And then I have to disinfect after everybody leaves <laughs> because I'm nervous. There's a lot of people coming in and out and I'm nervous, but everything's fine. All right, so we made the first round of peyote. We're gonna go right down that little bicone those two 11s and stick out that eight again. And here we go, dressing it up now. Okay, so I'm gonna let it do what it wants to do. Whatever side I'm gonna come out of and work on, that's the way I'm gonna do it. I just use a relaxed hand and hold it gently. And I'm gonna begin again by picking up 10 15s. Okay, and go right in to that eight, just like this. So we have two rows of 15 sitting side by side, hugging that beautiful round. And now we're gonna just pick up two 11s, jump right into the bicone only. All right, I'll go down closer so you can see. A lot better. Pull two 11s right into the eight, just like that, and we'll continue. That's it for this step. So I'm going to be quiet a minute. Just so I pick up 10 15s, go through that eight. And then two 11s through that three millimeter. And we'll continue repeating that all the way down. All right, so just take your time and count your 15s because we do have a special thing to do with those after. And on my mock version over there, I found a little oopsie where I had 11 in one spot, 12 in one spot. I was like, oh my goodness, what were you thinking? And it was just one of those days where I shouldn't have been beating. I should have been relaxing. But um, yeah, really pay attention to the count because we're going to, like I said, do something really cool to keep them nice and stable. So two 11s now, right into this eight. So yeah, the whole situation with the subtitles is all set. Um, it's auto-generated, unfortunately. There's no way I can get around it. I tried. And I was laughing the other day because I said, I don't even want to know what it picks up. Um, what it's saying. I feel really bad about it. I hate it. I 
hate the fact that they did this, but um, I can't do anything about it, unfortunately, because I, I guess a lot of people were abusing it and leaving nasty, um, because it used to be open to the public, would be able to go in and add subtitles, like if you're from um, another country, say, you could go in and add um, Italian or German or whatever, And but I guess there was a lot of problems with that, so they took it away, which makes my life a little difficult, your life a little difficult, and I don't like that, so... But there is a setting and I did write all the information on being away on how to get to there. So that way you'll <laughs> probably, it'll probably pick up all kinds of bad things. Sometimes it picks up bad words that I don't say on camera. And I don't even know where in the world it comes up with bike home instead of bike home. Bike home is what it comes up almost every time. All right, so just keep going. See how it's flipping and flopping and it wants to go all over the place? Just let it. Just relax and let it do what it wants to do. We're going to fix all of that when we come back down. And I decided not to shorten this video, not to edit, not to break it down into parts and just do the whole run with you um, because it's going to be a while until I see you guys again, so very bittersweet <laughs> you um are pretty amazing so i don't know it's going to be weird i hope you stay in touch and i hope you will look back at my older videos maybe and do some of those and send me some pictures i would love that you know i love getting pictures all the time it really makes me happy um so two Two, and then right into that bike home. We're getting there. We're slowly creeping down. It's just the counting of the 15s. I totally missed that bike home right there. So hard to see. And I'm a little late making my video today, so you're probably going to hear a lot of ruckus out there. Trucks pulling in and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, oh, I think I picked up 11. Yes, I did. We're almost at the end. Almost there. Okay. So two. I'm right through here. Just that by cone. I unfortunately do not know the name of the color of those bicones, and I apologize, and that's my fault for not writing it down, but I do have the colors for everything else. I hope I have the color for these beautiful bronze, pearl, gorgeous, beautiful beads that have been Sitting in my Swarovski pile forever. So last stitch, we're just going to go up and around because we only reinforce that area where the button is once. So this, excuse me, I'm very wheezy today. <coughs> I apologize. This is nothing but good for the work. Pull down. It's so much weather change too. One day it's freezing. One day it's hot. And it's just crazy. I mean, I've always said that New England is crazy like that. One day it's 60, one day it's 30. It's just crazy. And that's why I said don't take my air conditioner out until November because it's going to be 70 degrees today here, which is crazy. Okay, so we're coming back down now. And here's that step I was talking about. I have just a little tiny knot that keeps snagging 
somewhere in here. Let me feel it. Very tiny. Okay. So here's the part I was talking about. See how it's separating? I don't want it to do that when you're wearing it. So what I'm going to do is we wove down. We're going to come out that eight. Get in there because everything's tightening up. And we're going to weave through the fifth. 15, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna step out that fifth bead. Lots of thread going on, so just hold on to the piece to make sure there's no snags. And then we're gonna lock them together just using the simple ladder stitch. So find the fifth that's right next to it and lock them together. So we're gonna go right down, up, and then right back down again. I'm holding on real tight. So up and down one more time. And then we'll weave up right through the rest of these beads, these 15s. I'm gonna pull down and take a look, kind of smush it out just like that so it looks just like a herringbone but we did not do the herringbone we cheated a little bit now we're going to go through this eight and i wanted to add some 15s right in here so i'm stepping out of this eight right here we're going to pick up three 15s and just run straight through that bicone so i'm kind of splitting those 11s in half so those three 11s lay right like that. And it just looks so pretty. Oh my goodness. I knew I was gonna love this colorway. Three more, right through the eight. And if you can continue through until you step out that fifth, 15, take your time and hold it together. Go through one two, three, four, five, and then ladder stitch, four, five, I went through six, okay, and then ladder stitch them together, so find the one that's right next to it, and then go down and up, like this just locking them together nice and securely and I do it two times and then weave up until you reach that next size eight and it picked up an 11 that's what I mean when you're working with a lot of thread take your time So weave down and pull when you get down to that eight. Pull, pull, pull. Really hard, just like that. Because you think you're going to snap it, but you're not. Pull hard. And now we'll pick up three. My tension is not as high as it normally is. Okay, so three 15s straight through that three millimeter bicone. And I'm kind of going to position it right in between those two 11s. Three more. And right down that eight. And then step out the fifth. And you'll continue doing that all the way down. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to pinch them together like this. Find the one that's adjacent and go up and down and oh my goodness now that i'm looking i'm thinking in my head um i should have prepped one because we got a long way to go <laughs> a long way to go and it's tedious work right now because i can't see anything with these lights running and the glare and all that good stuff so just do your best and yeah i can't see because there's a, there's a thread showing right there and that would drive me 
I'm going to have to pop my needle off because that, you know, would drive me crazy. All right, let me pop this off. All right. Yeah, we got a ways to go. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, I thought it would not move this slowly, but we'll get there. Okay, so find the one right. I, I first of all, got to back out because I think I hit the wrong one. That 15, yeah. Oh, I did. I picked up the one underneath. And you can see my tension wasn't very good. So it's a little loose in there. And that means I'm going to have to run it back down afterwards. Back down this and straighten out that whole area. Which I will not do on camera. Because, oh my goodness, we'll be here forever. Alright, so step out that eight. Oh, and you know what else makes me so mad? I know this is so random. Three, right through that bicone. I can't find Lysol to save my life. I have looked everywhere. No Lysol anywhere. So when people leave, I can't like spray the house. I have to just use Windex, which is all I can find. I don't know who's hoarding all the Lysol, but I don't like it. <laughs> Because I like to, I used to like to lice all the doorknobs, um, even before COVID, when the flu was going around, I had to be cautious. So this scares me. So I've just been wiping everything down with the Windex with the ammonia in it. So, all right, I'm not doing the double lock because it will take too long. Absolutely too long. I'm going to just... I'll explain when I get to the end what I'll do to tighten up my work because, yeah, I can tell my tension was way off. I knew it in the beginning. I was not pulling as hard as I should have. But you continue. And at home, please take your time and enjoy this one. Pull down. All right, through that eight, and then I'm gonna run up and I'm gonna pick the right one this time. Okay, so I'm gonna go through one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm coming out in that direction. I'm gonna pinch them together, lock it down. And then right back up and down. Oh. Fifteens. They're so beautiful. So difficult to see. But they are truly worth it. I know I always, you know, seem to complain about the 15s only on camera because it is very hard to see um, where I'm going just because I'm running a whole bunch of lights. Right now I have four, or no, five lights, excuse me, running. So um, it gets very, very hard to see. I really have to get in there and look and make sure that my threads aren't crossed and all that tedious stuff. But like I said, I'm gonna, I have plenty of thread to run back down and re, just tighten everything down, reinforce, use up my thread. So see how I'm not going back through there twice? I'll do that part after and I'll explain. I'm, trying to keep that in my head as I work my way down. I'll explain what I mean when I get to the end, which believe it or not, we're creeping up there. We're getting there. Okay. All right, so right up through here. 
exit that fifth bead and over lock it together okay so now that you get the idea I really want to say thank you to uh, your beautiful messages your phone calls um, your friendship your loyalty and kindness always um, it's a feeling like no other it's um, it helps me more than you could ever know even though I know a lot of you say that I help you believe it or not I think it's the other way around you help me you push me and you challenge my brain and, and make everything so much better I thank you it is just so not it is not a big enough word I'm grateful I'm just overwhelmed and especially when you send me photos of yourself so I can see you and little notes along with it that make me smile so very thoughtful little things like that just mean everything to me and I appreciate that and you all know who I'm talking about my 4 a.m friends I call them when I can't sleep and we look for each other's uh green bubble you know <laughs> that comes on on messenger and if I see her awake I am um, she always answers the phone how can I ever repay somebody for that I can't except she knows that I would do the same thing for her and I love her for that and I thank her for that and we've both uh you know, we just get along. It's bizarre how you meet people and I cherish that much more than you could ever, ever understand. It's something that truly blew me away when I started the channel. I didn't care about money or any of that. This is something that I wanted to do to share um, and have fun and just relax and be myself and you all accept me for that. Even though I'm a little bit squirrely at times. You all know that. You've seen some of my videos. Some of my disasters. <laughs> um, but I appreciate you. And all your kindness. Always. Just always know that. I may not answer the phone sometimes. Because I sleep quite a bit in the day. Because I'm up a lot all night. So... Please always know how much I'm always thinking of you every single day, always. All right, guys, we made it to the end. Let's take a look so you know what I'm talking about. See how it's winding and twisting and all beautiful. And there's the colorway that I wanted. Ah, oh, gorgeous. And it looks like we did herringbone, but we cheated. We just did a square stitch right in the center. But like I said, my tension was a little off. You see that? So let's do this last part together. We're stepping out of a bicone. We're going to go through 111. All I'm trying to do is get into one that is sticking out. So I made it through 111 and one more, I think. I can't see anymore. That's what happens when I do a long video. Yes, I'm correct. So I'm going to go through that one that's sticking out right there. And just do a quick peyote using size eights now to fill in all those spaces. And I always say it's like filling in a puzzle, and it is. So we'll pop an eight in there. I'm going to move things a little bit quicker. Pick up a couple at a time here just to speed it up. But I truly appreciate all of you. I'm going to miss all of you. I'm hoping to be back up by uh, December, hopefully. <laughs> it seems like a far 
I mean, a long time, but I can't believe we're already in the middle of October. So time is hustling. But I will miss you. And I won't get emotional. I said I wouldn't, and that's it. <laughs> I'm standing firm on that one. So there, we just peyote the loop, and it's beautiful, and it is just going to go gorgeous with this beautiful button that I have had forever. Continue down into the work. Now, this is the part where I'm going to go off camera. Oh, it is snug. I'm coming out of an 8 and that 15. And here's where I'm going to run it off camera now. I'm going to run down this group of 15s and then all the way through all of these beads the 15s bicone 15s all the way down to tighten everything up let me move some things out of the way so we can get a really good look at this all right i'm very anxious to see this beautiful piece too all right, so this is what I wanted. This is what I had envisioned. And I love it. And yeah, the detail's a little hard to see until you actually make one. But the shine from those beautiful three millimeters uh, by cones. And here's what it looks like on. And I love it. And this is a piece that I'm going to cherish. So I have a little bit more reinforcing and tightening up to do, but it's so worth it. Oh my goodness. Now nah, that's my colorway. I'm not knocking this one actually because it's still really pretty. I don't think I'm even gonna pull it apart actually because it's just really pretty. Everything kind of works. It's just a little louder than I expected. Wow, do I get way off subject? Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. It's just because I get a little bit nervous because I am going to say goodbye. And um, anyway, I, again, I appreciate everything uh, all of you have done for me over the past three years almost. And hopefully I'll see you very soon. As soon as I'm up and running, I'll be working until then, making new designs and fun projects for us to do together. So... Thank you again for everything, and I hope to see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.